What's up guys, my name is Sean Connors, the Pocono Short-Term Rental Guy. I'm a real estate investor and a real estate broker right here in Pennsylvania, and this channel is dedicated to all things investing in short-term rentals in the Pocono Mountains. So here are the top three things that I'm going to say to avoid when you're deciding to start investing in the Poconos. The first one is to avoid areas that are not short-term rental friendly. With the explosion of short-term rentals and Airbnbs, in the Poconos in the past three years, a lot of different counties, townships, and HOAs have taken rules and enforcements to their area in order to ban completely, restrict, or just regulate short-term rentals because there have been so many. So you really need to do your due diligence when you're deciding to buy because there are so many different areas that are completely outlawing it they're banning it. Some townships are taking that approach. There are other townships that are trying to limit the amount of short-term rentals available. And there are places that are just regulating it. So they're more so enforcing the regulations that they already have in place, or they're putting new regulations in place in order to just limit it, right? Because again, there are so many short-term rentals now in the Poconos. I don't know if it's double, triple, quadrupled in the past three years, but it's pretty significant. And when you're buying in an HOA, which I own, where is the majority of people that are going to be vacationing in the Poconos, they're going to be looking at these HOAs because they have the pools, they have lakes, they have all the different amenities that families want. So if you are buying here, make sure that you're doing your research on the regulations and you're staying away from non-friendly short-term rental areas. The second thing I will say to avoid is working with an agent who does not understand short-term rentals. And I'm gonna put an asterisk next to that because for me, myself, I own two short-term rentals in the Poconos, but that doesn't mean that I know everything about the Poconos. This is my second market. My main market has always been in Chester County, Pennsylvania. But since I've owned now for almost a year and a half in the Poconos, I've started immersing myself in that area. And I know that there are a lot of good realtors up there, but not necessarily a lot of good realtors who understand short-term rentals. So make sure that when you're deciding to work with an agent to help you find your property, if it's your first, your fifth, or your 10th, that you're working with someone who understands it. And for someone like myself, again, I've been immersing myself in the Pocono Mountains and I'm learning as much as I can on a daily basis. And the third thing I would say to avoid is huge renovation projects. And why I would say to avoid that is because it's difficult to find good help, especially with construction. So if you're taking on a huge project and maybe you are in New York or you're in Jersey and it's somewhere where you have to travel two, three, four, five hours away to get there, it's probably not the best idea unless you can be there more. So if you're more local, I would say, yeah, take on a huge renovation project, but I would tend to say to go towards properties that are already turnkey or close to turnkey. Maybe they are already short-term rentals. They're the best properties to take over, ones that have past experience, have past reviews, and the owner of it has set up the property for a short-term rental. Those are the best ones to go after, but I would say to avoid huge renovation projects unless you can be there more often. So that's all that we have for you today. If you wanna start investing in short-term rentals in the Poconos, we'll love the opportunity to work with you. All you have to do is click the link below to schedule a call with me and we can see if we're a good fit. I'm going to keep coming out with valuable information about investing in the short-term rentals. And if there's anything that you want to see, if there's any more videos that you want to see on certain topics, make sure you comment below and that way I can start making content geared towards that. Thank you so much. Have an awesome day.